Welcome to God's Food for Thought. We're going to continue with having a psalm in your heart. You know, living with Jesus and acknowledging Him will help us to keep a psalm in our heart. The victory that Jesus accomplished by His death for us is absolutely guaranteed by the Holy Spirit of God Himself. It's called the Holy Spirit of Promise. That's spoken in Ephesians 1.13. It says, you, that's all of us, were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. When God promises something, it is yes and amen. He's always watching over his word to perform it in the lives of people. David knew about that. He was a worshiper. He loved God, although he was also human and made a lot of mistakes. But David gave us some very important keys as he spoke God's word in the Psalms. We're going to look at Psalm 17, verses 1 through 9. It's a prayer of David. Let's look into David's prayer. O oh Lord, hear my plea for justice. Listen, listen to my cry for help. Pay attention to my prayer, for it comes from honest lips. You know, God just wants you to be real with him. Declare me innocent, for you see those who do right. You have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. You have scrutinized me and found nothing wrong. I am determined not to sin in what I say. Of course, Dave is not saying he never did anything wrong. He's talking about a particular event and problem that he's going through. And, and in that, he's been doing his very best to follow God. He goes on to say in verse 4, I have followed your commands, which keep me from fo following cruel and evil people. I have followed your commands, which keep me from following cruel and evil people. You know, that's one reason why people are cruel and evil, because they never hear the word or read the word or get God's word of instruction in. It's, there's nothing to keep them from doing what they're doing. There's a conscience that God gave us, but that can be seared when you go against it time after time again. It's only the Word of God, the creative Word of God, that can make our want to want to. He says in verse 5, My steps have stayed on your path. I have not wavered from following you. I am praying to you because I know you will answer, O oh God. Bend down and listen to what I pray. Show me your unfailing love in wonderful ways. By your mighty power, you rescue those who seek refuge from their enemies. You know, almost every time there's a problem in the Psalms, it's because of some kind of enemy. It's people. Well, you think it's the goodness of God working in people that's causing them his problems? No, it's the God of this world who's always seeking to control people, getting other people to control other people by his control. And the enemy always is trying to seek and devour each and every one of us. But God is greater who is in us. And knowing that we have an enemy, just like David did, we need to pay attention to the next verse. Actually, verses 8 and 9. Guard me as you would guard your own eyes. 
Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Protect me from wicked people who attack me, from murderous enemies who surround me. Notice he's asking three things. Guard me, hide me, protect me. There's been times when I've prayed, oh Lord, make me invisible to those who are trying to do harm. Make my things, my house, my whatever it is I'm worried about, they're, they're going to try to steal or do something. Make that in, invisible to them. That's what he's saying. He's saying, hide, hide me, guard me, protect me from wicked people who attack me. That's having a psalm in your heart. A psalm in your heart can also be a plea for protection and saying, God, who created all things, who is all powerful, Lord, I need your protection. The enemy is trying to steal, kill, and destroy every good thing that I have. Psalm 18 has an introduction to it. It says, for the choir director, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord. He sang this song to the Lord on the day the Lord rescued him from all his enemies and from Saul. He sang, I love you, Lord. You are my strength. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. Here's a very important point. Loving the Lord is also loving his attributes. What are they? His loving his holiness. Loving his goodness. Loving his mercy. Loving his strength. Loving his word. Loving his will. Loving the way that he says to do things the way that he runs his kingdom. You can't say you love God and don't love his attributes. Some people play that game. Oh, I love God, but they don't want to follow him. Make sure that you know that you are truly following him. Because when you follow him, then the results of his attributes will be seen more in your lives. Oh, you can still get attacked just like David was attacked. But the bottom line is we've read the end of the book. God wins and we win with him. There's never a good reason to turn away and turn to trusting something else. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. This is a song that David's singing. Verse 2 says, He's singing here, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. God is my rock in whom I find protection. That sounds familiar. That sounds like words to a song, doesn't it? In a moment, we're going to sing praise the name of Jesus. That this scripture inspired that song written many years ago. But he says, He's my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. Verse 3, I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise, and he saved me from my enemies. The name above all names is Jesus Christ. It's in his name that you make all of your petitions to the Father. He said, ask in my name. His name is the authority. It's the authority of Jesus Christ. Just like your name, when you write your name on your check, it gives the authority for that check to be good. Praying in the name of Jesus is praying in the authority of Jesus. But remember, if you really love God, you're going to love his attributes. If you want God, you're going to want his attributes. And that all takes part in our prayers, praying for his will to be done. Tomorrow, 
have a very special one for you. There's a very special song that's going to be sung, and we're looking forward to that. But right now, we're going to sing Praise the Name of Jesus, and remember, His name is the name above all names. It's only through his name, calling on his name, that we can be saved. Let your hearts sing along as we sing, praise the name of Jesus. God bless you. Oh